Good morning again, dear brothers and sisters. Today I have five points for my short reflection. Oh, five points for short reflection. Well, each point is short, hopefully. Now let me give you my reflection on the first reading. I have already told you that uh, today we heard uh, the last chapter of from the book of Job. So the first point from the first reading is that Job confirmed that there are so many things or wonders which cannot be understood by human human mind. In other words, everything is possible for God, but we cannot understand how it is possible for God. Where, why? Because Job he realized he realized so many wonders here on earth, but. As I said, human mind, for human mind, it is impossible to know exactly why the things are there, why the things are happening, why the you no know, bad things are happening to us, why the pandemic of COVID nineteen is happening to us. It is one of the wonders for us. Well, Job is reminding us today that if we use our human mind to understand everything, I think we will get crazy. So dear brothers and sisters, let's not lose our faith on seeing the wonders, the wonders I prefer here the the, the the bad things you no know, the things around us happening around us which we don't like well we have to accept as job he accepted in his previous days whatever happened to him he accepted but finally he acknowledged he acknowledges today in the last chapter of the book. So my second point is that before Job complained God for what he suffered, but today Job apologizes God and repents for what he said to God before due to his sufferings. We know that the life of Job, no, he suffered a lot, he lost everything. He, he suffered physical pain, diseases. So what should be applied to our life regarding the life of Job here? From the personal feeling of Job. Shall we apply our apology to God and to one another whom we have heard before? I think Job is reminding us that we have to apologize whatever we complained, in whatever way we hurt God before, not only God, but also our neighbors, our co-human beings, our friends, because I'm sure that we have heard, we have heard our friends in our you know, misbehavior or miscontact, we have heard. So for that, Job is reminding us today that apologize and acknowledge what we have done in the past wrongly towards God or our neighbors. And the last point from the first reading is that Job is blessed more than before his previous days. In his later days, God blesses Job more. Or another way to say that Job 
you know, becomes more prosperous in his later days than before because of his repentance on considering the wonder of God. So, dear brothers and sisters, it means that Job reconciled with God. That is why in his later days, he was blessed by God more and more. He gained so many what he lost. More than he gained what more than what he lost. Now let me go to the two points, two reflect two points of reflection on the today's gospel reading. The first point is that success here on earth and our names written in heaven. Our names written in heaven is more important than our success here on earth. Why? The reason is that the disciples are happy or rejoiced when they return to Jesus from their missions or ministry because the demons, the satans, are subject to them. So they are so happy. But here Jesus reminds them that though be happy or though rejoice that the, the, the demons are subject to you, but be happy or rejoice that your, our names are written in heaven. How can we be uh, sure of that our names are in heaven? This is the question we have to ask today. So do we want our names already written in heaven? Of course. How shall we do? How shall we do? Of course, we have to do like Job. He acknowledges and uh, he repents for whatever he did in the past. Now let me go to the, my second point from the gospel of gospel reading today. <clears throat> being disciples of Jesus, being the children of God, we have the privilege. Why? Because in the last part of the gospel reading, Jesus said to, to his disciples, For I say to you, Many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it. To hear what you hear, but did not hear it. But the disciples, they have chance, they have privilege that what the kings or prophets did not see or hear. Here the point is that, dear brothers and sisters, be happy that we are Christians. Be happy that we are Catholics. We have, we have privilege. Well, of course, here on earth, we have to you know, pass through so many struggles, sufferings. But of course, our privilege is not necessarily here on earth, but one day in heaven, that we are there that we have to be there. It is our privilege on the last day. So dear brothers and sisters, in order to have the privilege that we will go to heaven one day is that let us reconcile with God forever for whatever we have done in 